Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to be talking about some of the limitations that Canva has as a design and editing tool and how we can get around some of those uh, so that we can use our designs that we have in Canva in Darkroom Booth. So let's go ahead and jump right in. It'll, there'll be a little bit of Photoshop, but nothing too difficult. Okay, so here we are in Darkroom Booth. I have a blank canvas for a template. I'm gonna add some artwork that I um, kind of rearranged in Canva. And one of the nice things about Canva is there's a lot of assets that are built in and things that you can do um, that are available. Um, so here is my design and I'm gonna show you the issue that you run into almost immediately. It's laid out pretty well. Uh, you can tell that this gray box is where I want my image to go. Now the issue is whenever I add my image box, it's going to go on top of it. Um, and now it's covering up. So that looks like it's lined up pretty well, but it's covering up the, the bunny and the text. And I want those all to go on top. So now if I take my image box and move it behind there, I still have this gray box. that's not allowing me to see my image. It, there should be a one to let me know that's where the image is going to go. So if I use this and print it, I'm going to just get a gray box because it's covering the image behind it. So what are our options here? So I can take this graphic into Photoshop and just use my magic wand and then delete and now I have a transparent background I can see the checkered board pattern that lets me know that it's transparent but if you look right up here everywhere where it wasn't continuous is gray so I can go in there and click away each one of those um, or I know some of you that are uh, a little bit more familiar with Photoshop are saying oh you just go into the select tool and just use color range the issue with that is gray is so specific or it's so general uh, that it would then take the eyes and the nose and whiskers out so without getting into that too much but you can also see there's a little piece right there so what i'm going to suggest would we'll just um close that don't save it let's switch back into canva i have it open in a web browser right over here and so we use green screen all the time for our images so it's easy to knock out somebody uh, because green is not a real common color within skin tones. In this, I do have a little bit of green down here, but I'm gonna use a very specific green. It's a very bright green. So I'm gonna just select that, change the color of that object, and I'm gonna go with uh, 00FF00, which is a hexadecimal code for um, all green no blue no red so now it's real bright um, and I'm going to just go ahead and save that it's exactly the same file um, it just has green background now and so now in Photoshop I'll take this file use select color range and um, I just that okay and then click OK and now I can use delete and you can see it took out the little spaces in between the A's and the E's and this little uh, triangle right here and then I can um, save that uh, let's go ahead and I, I want to show you one more thing um, before we're done that makes the process even easier and why I'm suggesting specifically that color green but let's switch into booth and just double click browse and then we should be able to select this now and we're all set I can see the number one right there it's cut out and um, now there's my image so for those that are not real familiar with Photoshop and maybe I moved a little bit too quickly, we're gonna try this one more time 
and uh, let's switch back to Canva just so you know it's a brand new uh, image we're gonna change this border to uh, we'll go with blue okay I'm gonna save it and download and this time instead of taking it into Photoshop and editing the image I'm going to use this little droplet right here that does all those same actions but in an automated fashion so whenever I grab this one you can see it has the new the new blue border I'm gonna drop it right here and it's gonna open Photoshop and start processing the image and then save it and now it's done all the work for me so if I let's just for fun we'll delete it and then click add artwork browse and there's a new one sometimes it'll show as white sometimes it'll show as black but if we click OK and we want to make sure use alpha, uh, image alpha channel is selected you can see it's all cut out um, and that's how you can still use transparency in, with Canva graphics even though Canva does not have that option as of now it might be in the future when you're watching this and you say oh yeah it's totally in there now and I hope that one day it will uh, but for right now that is the best way to knock out the image area so you can have uh, a PNG overlay graphic thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time